Hey, what's going on? My name is Harrison, and this is going to be an Unreal Engine 4 C++ tutorial on a uh, floating actor. This tutorial is taken directly from Epic's documentation from their programming quick start. So it's pretty much this one right here, where you got the uh, floating object and it goes up and down. But hey, let's go ahead and do it live if you have trouble making it, or maybe uh, the engines have updated. Uh, I think I added a couple more variables, but nothing too much. But let's go ahead and play the final product. Here we go, we have the squares going up and down, I'll go up and down. Um, uh, and as always, there should be a GitHub link down in the description below. So if you just want to grab the code and move along, you definitely can. But if not, let's continue with the video. Uh, let's go ahead and delete this test actor and let's recreate it in C++. New actor. Um, I'm just going to call it a uh, floating actor. And create class. All right, the engine just created the files for us. Let's go ahead and set up our header file and create some float variables. Uh, first one, float running time. Keep track of the game's running time. Uh, next, u property, um, edit anywhere. So we can edit it in the editor. Um, category, movement. Uh, it's also gonna be a float. Um, we're going to call it x value. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy that two more times for the y and z values. Uh, change this accordingly, that y, x, y, and that x to z. <laughs> okay, we should be good with the header file. Let's go ahead and jump into the CPP file. Everything's going to happen on the tick function. So let's go ahead and make it happen. F vector, new location. Let's get our actor's location. Uh, get actor location. Do float delta height. Uh, and that's gonna equal F math sign that. Running time plus delta time and that's going to be minus f math sign running time. Is that good? Yeah. So this f f math sign equation to equal delta height. Uh, it'd be better. So I'll drop the link in the description. It's better just to follow um, Tim C's explanation on it. He can explain it much better than I can, and all credit goes to him on kind of explaining what happens with the sine function. So, uh, what is he? It's just, yeah. So I definitely recommend reading his answer to a uh, uh, to a, to the same previous question, and hopefully that'll answer what exactly is happening with this sine function and to calculate delta height. So now let's go new location dot x plus equals delta. Uh, height uh, times the x value. And now again, I'm going to copy that uh, two more times. Uh, that was horrible copy. Uh, again, I'm going to repeat the process for the y and z variables. Yep. Z and z. Next, we have running time equals uh, plus equals delta time and now it's now that's it now it's at our actor's location um, new location and we should be set let's go ahead back to the editor compile and see if we have any errors if not we'll be able to rock on All right, so the compile failed. Let me check the error log. Uh, running time, all right, so I just have a typo in my, there's one more N there. Let's compile. Uh, the compile was a success. Let's drag and drop it in. Floating actor, drag it in. Let's add a component. Uh, let's go ahead and add the cube. Bring this up. 
um, find the actor, my floating actor. Now we have all our movement variables over here. Let's go ahead and just do uh, 200 for that value, and let's see what happens. So now it's going up and down. Let's do a couple more variables just to have fun. Uh, let's do 200 over here and see what happens. And the x variable uh, plus. Now it's kind of moving back and forth and up and down. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.